Hello there, it's your friend Phil, Project Management Trader and Coach with Praise On. Let's take a look at a great question that came in from one of our students, Lori. She brought up the point about the indices and the variances and how certain terminology could indeed throw one off. Let's take a look at these two indices. You've got the Cost Performance Index, which is a 0.5 and the Schedule Performance Index, which is a 0.5. So let's examine what this really means in earned value speak. A cost performance index less than one is unfavorable. This means that you are spending too much money. You're spending too much money to get the work done. That means you are over budget. A 0.5 means you're over budget. It's less than one, but it means you're over budget. Okay, now let's look at SPI, Scheduled Performance Index of a 0.5. Now the terminology here would be this project is behind schedule. Now it can be very confusing to some because in one index we have over budget. Over, over kind of means, it kind of gives the impression that you are ahead in some way. Yeah, you're ahead of your budget. You're spending too much money. So you, you, you just have to think about it. What does it mean? I'm spending too much money. I am over the allocated budget for this work. Over budget. When you take a look at the schedule performance index, what does it mean? It means I am behind. I should have done more, but I haven't. I should have done more by this point, but I haven't. Now, let's take a look at two more of these indices to get a better idea of what exactly this means. So, let's take a look at the cost variance. What is a cost variance of minus $5 mean? A cost variance of minus, watch the minus, Minus five means you are five dollars in the hole. This minus means you are five dollars in the hole. That means you have spent too much money. That's what a negative cost variance means. And the terminology used here would be you are over budget. Over budget. You spent more than you should on a particular piece of work. Okay? You're over budget. Now, if you are under budget, this would not be a negative. If you are under budget, if you are under budget, this would be just five dollars. Let's take a look at the schedule variance. So we had a schedule variance, which was, again, minus $5. What does that mean? Schedule variance negative is unfavorable. Now let's take a look. If this was a positive schedule variance, schedule variance is equal to $5. This means you are ahead of schedule, okay? So there's a difference when it comes to a variance being equal to zero, a variance being greater than zero, and a variance being less than zero. Equal to zero is right on target. Greater than zero is also good, depending on how much higher. It could be cause for concern if your variance is so much higher than zero, depending on the project size and the amounts at stake. But that's not bad. When it is less than zero, depending on how less, it becomes undesirable. What you really need to be able to think about the logic of the answers on the exam and to choose the right one is as follows. If you are dealing with a cost variance that is equal to zero, that means you are right on budget. 
Now, if your cost variance is less than zero, it means it's negative, right? Negative is bad. That means you are over budget. If your cost variance is greater than zero, greater than zero means positive, right? Positive. And that means you are under budget. Looking at the schedule variance, if your schedule variance is equal to zero, it means you are on schedule. Less than zero, you are behind schedule. And greater than zero, it means you are ahead of schedule. So if you look at the direction of the arrows over here, and take a look at where the laser's pointing, the direction of the arrow here and here for the variances is synonymous with the schedule variance behind as in on a number line this is going backwards behind look at the direction of the arrow going behind ahead of schedule you see it's going forward but in the case of cost variance it's counterintuitive and that is why people struggle with understanding over budget being negative and under budget being positive so if you think about it with schedule variance being synonymous with the direction of the arrow, if you look at this as an arrow, even though these are signs of greater than and less than, just map that directly for SV, but for CV, just remember it's counterintuitive. Now in the case of the indices, we take a look at cost performance index equal to one right on budget, less than one over budget and greater than one under budget if you look at schedule performance index equal to one on schedule less than one behind schedule and greater than one ahead of schedule again the direction of these could be looked at as arrows they map directly to that for schedule performance index but for cost performance index, it seems to be skewed the other way around. So just bear that in mind. And that concludes a review of earned value management core concepts and interpretation of the schedule performance index, cost performance index, schedule variance and cost variance.